you know, so I'm just messing around with a music file that I was given permission to sort of inspect. I backmasked it. Backmasked it. Don't interrupt. Come on. But yeah, I backmasked. <laughs> There's someone trying to interrupt. Backmasked the song. So it's running backwards. Here's the original material. Hit the solo button on it. My laptop will respond. Okay. The solo button. So right here. This is just off my headphones, so. I'll go. Comes in really quiet. Then it gets to a flourish, where it gets louder. Sorry about the huge wave. We'll clarify all this in a moment. Here's the flourish. All this is the original song played backwards. So. Sounds quite beautiful. Let's pause it right here. And I'll demonstrate that it is back masked by going into effect. Hitting the first button. I'm here on my laptop, so it'll slow, so it'll take a little bit of time to front mask the song from where it was originally back mask and I'll talk about the meat and bones of this small little project that I made and I'll talk about how uncanny this song sounds this piece of music sounds there's no singing just yet I might add singing to it so yeah here's what it sounds like frontwards and you can tell this is Jeremy Soul's from past to present off of the Skyrim soundtrack. The video game. I've never played Skyrim, but I mean, I like video games. I used to play them in my past life. Not that I had like another life. Like I have two lives, but all the way back in my younger years. Is where it starts to get louder frontwards. And you can sense this is the very beginning of Jeremy Souls from past to present zone. So, just the opening exposition here, just a little bit off my headphones. to the quiet sessions which we'll talk about right now okay now let's do control z hopefully okay, let's just do it's gonna work hurry up okay it flipped it flipped over and just to double check, here it says redo reverse. So yes, I went back one command. And then how you make 
the recording I posted on my Twitter is. You go through this, the entire rendition backwards, and you take all the quiet parts, like here, you can sense this is just the loud version of like from right here to here before the backwards flourish starts. So you copy paste that, put it here, make it louder. Let me see if I can scroll down. Um, this, this part right here is this section, the next quiet section. You can sense it's quieter because the amplitude of these wavelengths isn't as high as like right here or right here. Closer this is to the middle and to the bottom, that's how loud, how much louder it is. And the closer, the farther away is how much quieter it is. So corresponding, the third one goes there and the fourth one goes there in backwards order. And then you just run, like you select one of the parts. You just, what you would do is go to effect Fade out, then right here you go to effect, fade in, you have to fine tune your fade outs and fade ins to make the song sound authentic, but what the, the result is, like what you have after you're done making this, is something that sounds like it came straight out of a big budget film score it's actually quite uncanny what it sounds like let's unmute all of that and then mute this and then start here I'm using my mouse left-handed because i'm holding my holding my camera with my right hand so And then you got the, the, basically the recording I posted <clears throat> on my Twitter. Sounds like the most breathtaking orchestra playing backwards music, a backwards rendition. It sounds like an obvious excerpt that if you could just hear that way, you could fish it out of a song like this and then reproduce the excerpt even verbatim. Sounds very powerful. And yeah, if you if you listen to it, it sounds like it came straight from a movie. It's very beautiful. From there, I made the quiet parts loud so that they make tactical sense. We like to make all of our music the same comparative volume across other artists, across all genres. So we try to get the music to the maximum volume a speaker can produce so <clears throat> that's the preset so that all of our music sounds the same level of loudness whether you're listening say like poppy post malone taylor swift drake so the, the, the reason is we don't want the our music to sound like it wasn't made with an industry standard so it's quieter than the rest of the industry so we take that very seriously when programming a song. You have to make sure your song is as loud as all, as all the other songs, especially in mainstream music or else it won't sound. Classical music is different because it's like an orchestral piece. So it's not necessarily designed to be like a mainstream A, B, A, B, C, B, or A, B, A, B format song. But <clears throat> preface to say, your song needs to be set up the right way for it to be successful. So yeah, I might sing on this. If I do, hopefully it sounds good. I'm not a bad singer, I'm pretty damn good. So we'll figure it out. Also, kudos to you, Kendrick Lamar, but we're all going back to the woodshed right now. Mm. <laughs> okay, y'all have a good night.